Thursday night football preview. It's a special one because Wes, I'm sure let him know from the start. This is an entire Thursday night football preview double down for fourth and troll fantasy. Listen, we yes, are sir. in sync on these guys. We are in agreement on these guys of who is your must start, a risky start, and don't start. I'm going to start out must start. It's got to be Darren Waller. Listen, the Giants saw what you can do when you give your one of your best players opportunities and targets, and he gets catches for your football team. Darren Waller had eight targets. Five of them came in the second half, and shocker, that is when they ended up having that comeback. Darren Waller is going to be involved from here on out. He should be trusted. He should be a lineup lock. He is a must-start. Don't think that this was fluky because of week one. He is a must-start. Keep him in the lineup. He is there for you to be a solid tight end every single week. He's the must-start for fourth and troll fantasy for Thursday Night Football Week 3. And he's the best playmaker on that field now. Yeah. I mean, Saquon you got Barkley Saquon. Gone. It's like, oh, he's, yeah, there you go. He's going to see as many targets as possible, and especially if you're in a PPR league, which we assume most of you are because that's the most common and popular format, PPR volume for Darren Waller is looking good. I know it's the 49ers defense, but the ball's got to go to somebody. And I know, say what you will, is the Niners defense better than the Cowboys defense? Doesn't feel like it, but it's the second best defense it feels like. And that's my segue into our risky start, actually, because our double down for the risky start is Daniel Jones. He had a heck of a game in that second half against the Cardinals. He looked good. He looked like what we saw last season as someone that can actually lead a team to victory, can get you fantasy points, and can do it in both ways. I think it's risky for obvious reasons, but there's a chance to start him because you see no Saquon. He's going to use his legs more. He's going to find a way to get into the end zone on the ground maybe once. Maybe he throws once as well into the end zone. Maybe he hits Darren Waller, hopefully. We believe that can happen, but obviously you're going against such a strong defense. It's such... I, I know the 34 points looks appealing. You may be worried about Burrow or Lawrence or, you know, you might be scared of some of these other quarterbacks. It's still a risk. It's still a risk. It's still the Niners. It's still Daniel Jones. And no offense to him, but you got to have an elite quarterback going against the Niners if you want to get 25-plus points. And I don't think he's going to get that. I really don't. So he's our risky star. Fourth and troll, double down. There you go, baby. Like you said, Wes... Maybe a touchdown on the ground. Maybe a touchdown in the air. <sighs> Mark my words. Daniel Jones connects with Darren Waller. Finds him in the end zone. Not once, but twice on Thursday night. Darren Waller, oh my. two receiving touchdowns on Thursday night against the 49ers. Mark my words. You know You're out of your say mind. That? And you know why I'm saying that? Because Matt Breida ain't doing jack for this run game <laughs> and for the Giants on Thursday night. It, it was not going to be a situation where, oh, Kyron Williams, he's getting 10 targets. Matt Breida, he's getting 10 targets. He's getting the end zone with a pass and a run. Nope. Matt Breida, don't start. Don't get cute. I know if you, you're feeling like maybe you have to because you're a Saquon manager. Maybe you had him handcuffed already. I don't know why you do that, but whatever. I got a hot take for you. I don't think Matt Breida leads the team in rushing yards on Thursday night. I think it's either going to be Daniel Jones or, listen, maybe it's fifth-round rookie Eric Gray. Who knows if he's going to get fired up. Matt Breida, don't start. Fourth and troll double down. Don't get cute, all right? Yeah, no, notice how <laughs> not, neither of us said Matt Breida was a waiver wire ad. Yeah. It's because this is three weeks tops. And and it's not a good schedule for them the next three weeks. And yeah. Matt Breda is not someone that is going to fill in for the Saquon Barkley role. So, right. Um, but le I, I will manifest it with you. I really hope Darren Waller gets two tutties, two tutty the oh, trolls he is. He is. on Thursday night because 100%. we believe it. We 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 see what Darren Waller can be. We've heard what he was like in camp. 
Now or never, baby. Come on, Darren. Let's go, baby. We got it.